Well, I'm really pleased today to be able to chat to the incomparable Fiona Danik, the heart and soul of Lyrebird Community Centre in Karen Downs. Fiona, thank you for zooming in to have a chat with me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. And um, I just want to say I work with a wonderful team, so I'm, I'm as good as I am because I've got a great team behind me. Uh, so you go. That's why we love you because you don't take credit for yourself. Uh, so we're obviously uh, chatting to the community about how everyone is doing um, with the stay-at-home restrictions and dealing with COVID-19. What's happening at the Lyrebird Community Centre? So the community centre component is closed um, and it sort of closed very quickly. So we played catch up for a little while um, with our IT, but most of the staff are now working at home if they can. Um, but we have sort of implemented new programs some of our classes are going online, so we're trying to still do our educational component. Um, but we are open for occasional care, which is super. Um, that's we are, we are, sorry. Us, that's right. Can you just tell us quickly about the occasional care for those who haven't used it before? What is it? And if they need it, how can they access it? Okay, so occasional care is for five hours. They maxima, uh, max, have the maximum of 15 hours per week. Um, so we've started and we've opened up and we're only doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the time being. While we've got families that are already enrolled, some of them um, don't need to come and so they've chosen not to, but we've got that opportunity then to offer it to our essential workers. And it can be as simple as that they've been done a night shift and just need a few hours sleep. This is a great opportunity for that, um, you know, demographics, you know, the, the essential workers there. Um, the only criteria we need is they need to be fully immunised. So um, that, it, that is a plus before they enter our service. How, um, old, how old are the kids who are able to access the occasional care? Six weeks to six um, years. Six so six general. Terrific. And Fiona, it's covered by the government subsidy, isn't it? So there's no charge? Correct. There's no charge at the moment, which is fabulous. It does really help out. So. Um, and we have got some essential workers accessing it already, um, but we do still have positions. So um, we encourage families to, you know, give us a call um, or even just even email admin at liabird.org.au and you put their name down and we'll contact them. Great. And you said there's some other education services still happening. If um, people out there in the community uh, want to access them, what's the best way to go about that? Um, so uh, it, those that are running online, um, uh, again, contact admin at Lyrebird. It's on our website, so go to our website or our Facebook page. Um, pretty much the Facebook page is where it's fairly current um, and the medical reception is the first one that we've been able to get online and we've been quite, um, it's been quite popular and now we're sort of looking at other alternatives. So, yeah, it's it's... It's different and it's making us think outside the square, which is great. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited moving forward with you know, the new technology that we're learning quickly. That's great. And, I mean, if anyone can uh, use this as an opportunity for better ways to reaching out to the community, I'm sure it's you and the team there at Lyrebird. Fiona, obviously there's lots of new rules about social distancing. What do you have... Yeah doing within the centre, particularly with the occasional care for that? So we tailored the learning program to spread the children out a little bit more, a lot, lot more um, individual activities that they can do. They may be sitting at the table, but there may be two tables to extend them a little bit further away and that sort of thing. So lots of extra cleaning, all those sort of things. And we're following the guidelines from the government. So that's great. And lots of hand washing, I assume. Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Hand sanitizer, all that, we've got it. Lovely. All right, well, thank you very much for Zooming in and having a chat. And you look after yourself and can't you wait can to be able to come out and visit physically again sometime very soon.
Um, tell me if there was one message you could get out to people, um, which you can on the Facebook page. What message? To stay home if they can and stay safe. That's, our, that's the main um, criteria, but we've got a service there. If there are essential workers and need that care, we're there for them. And if we can help, just message us and we'll see what we can do. Can't make promises, but I will try. Mm, that's wonderful. All right, well, everyone's heard that. Liebird Community Centre is still there at the heart of our community, just virtually. Um, yes, and that's right. Get in touch if you need a little bit of help, a bit of respite to do some shopping, have a bit of a nap, particularly if you're an essential worker. And uh, Fiona, how are you looking after yourself? Because that's pretty important. Um, I'm doing quite well. I've done a bit of sewing yeah. and, um, yes, definitely the board games have come out for me. Cooking's not my, my, my forte. I'm not, 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 not good at cooking, but, um, yeah, so I've certainly done a bit of sewing. So the childcare room's going to get some new activities and things for that. So I've been busy at work. So I, 